I'm Jimmy. I'm Nick. Welcome to How We Built It. Today we are looking at my very own road bike, uh, a custom alloy prototype bike that's been hand illustrated uh, paint scheme on it. Last Scott Crozier and I nearly killed him because <laughs> you may have stopped me out to do it twice. He did, yeah. So, uh, How many hours was that? In total, it was 50 hours of illustration. 20 hours the first time which didn't work because I told him I definitely want it on the raw steel and it didn't stick and then the second time uh, 30 hours on a base white coat um, and then lacquered over the top so yeah it was a, a very large illustration so project. So the paint scheme is worth about five times with the bike? Uh, probably more. The paint scheme is technically probably worth about £20,000 based on his, his hourly <laughs> rate. <laughs> Ouch. Um, so the bike itself is a prototype alloy bike um, for a possible brand in the future that someone is setting up and asked me to test. Um, Nick actually helped out with the first one and gave us some feedback, if you remember. Yeah, it's just kind of small things to work out. Yes, the rotors didn't fit in, the so we actually clamped the frame to the right. side here. And cable routing through the bottom bracket. Yes, so we changed some of the cable yeah. ruin. Um, so ultimately there was a, a first prototype which uh, it's still a nice bike, you're still riding it. I still have it, yeah. yeah. Um, this is then the second version with some changes to it, and it was one that I was like, well, I'm going to keep it, I'll get a nice paint scheme on it. That was the first rival uh, wireless group set. I originally wanted the cheapest group set I can get, and I was like, well, I'll get Hydraulic 105, because it's like cheap but good. Yes, but remember I told you that... Well, firstly, you couldn't get good, it. Yeah. <laughs> and, but also, everything's going forward now, 12 speed, meaning... yeah. It's all good and well buying a group set to save a bit of money, but in the long run, it'll work out cheaper. Just but bearing in around. mind that the new 105 didn't six, exist at that yeah, point. And this was, this was probably released, yeah. six months ago, maybe. Oh, it's actually even longer than that. No, it's a year ago. Is it a year ago? Yeah, it's, a year ago. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Uh, T47 um, bottom bracket. T47, yeah, they're yeah. popping up all over the place now, aren't they? It's <laughs> going to become more popular. All our sizes are where we can pick. We choose T47 as well. So you, you get to, you literally spec what BB, oh, because they're all yeah, literally custom. like, yeah, every yeah. one is just built to spec, yeah. isn't it? Talk about that in one of the w when we, videos, when we do yeah. a saddle build, <laughs> not when we do my one. Um, yeah, so it's a rival group set, Hydro all the way through. We actually went for, because I'm a big believer of you can never have, there's never a scenario where you're riding where you're like, oh, I've got too many gears. Um, so, I, so it's actually gravel, it's a gravel gear ratio. Yes on a road bike and I just figured it made sense I've, I've got no intention in riding fast uh, so it, it, it works for me I can't remember what they are but I'll put the the actual do you know what they quite, are? no it's oh, been yeah. quite a while ago um, I'll put the, the beauty actual of it as well is that I think you've got a double on there but it's quite easy if you ever decided to switch to a single just take the front mic off I tell you I I, 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 I specifically requested those tyres just because of the hardest tyres in the entire world to fit they onto are tires. absolutely rubbish why do they just I, I rode those through spraying with Francis and they were so slippery it was unbelievable. I couldn't believe how slippery I was sliding on it's everything. just after years of riding gravel and, as and soon, switching to <laughs> road. As soon as I came back I messaged you and I was like what tyre should I put on it and then I can't remember what you said and I was like actually I'll ask James Jobber because he rides more than anyone else I know Unreal. and he told me Pirelli Cent... 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 Which it's I got, really a, good I got a set off yeah, you. Yeah. They're technically a winter tyre but they are so, so good. good. They are so grippy. Um, so I've now actually got them on and I do miss the amber walls because they are beautiful a luxury um, yeah a tyre choice is a difficult thing because loads of people are really comfortable with the tyres think there's loads of grip but it's everything is relative to what you've been riding before yeah so I also ride massive tyres on road bikes now so I think those are 30 30, miles. 30 are those 30 uh, I think those. Are I think I think the ones I've got on now are 30 this bit, yeah. the ones I've got on now I think are yeah, yeah. I think they might be 32 now a massive the bikes back there. It is. <laughs> yeah. Um, the what else have we got on it? That's I see the bandage from my hand there, bleeding from cutting it, trying to put the tires on. <laughs> oh, you did tire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, your pedals that I borrowed off you. Yes. The uh, time ones. Time pedals. Just I love them. Uh, so much more platform engagement. So in terms of stability wise, you've got. 700 square millimeters so it's boring but yeah <laughs> essentially it's a more stable platform because i've got a size 13 shoe it's just more comfortable to ride yeah. and then float i know loads of people have different pedals but yeah i've just always gone on well with them i'm sure the illustrations are not going to be to everyone's taste um no scott's 
they are Scots to mine. <laughs> promise me there's some kind of obscenities on there somewhere, but I haven't found it yet. I'm going to actually have a look again after this video <laughs> to see if I can see what he's done. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, check them in the comments below. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.